since I still feel like blabbing, I'm going to talk to you about another toy. And I know at least some of you are going to be looking at this and be panicked. Don't worry. I'm not going to become one of those reviewers that only covers new stuff. That's lame sauce. In fact, I have a plan for an older one in my head as we speak. While I speak though, let's look at this thing. This is a Legacy RC. Legacy was a bit of a godsend for me. See, for years they've been going on remaking the oldest stuff, you know, Generation 1 and all that. You know, which is well and good, but come on, other fans exist too, like Prime. And, well, they've up and done it. In fact, by the looks of things, it's going to get even more varied as time goes on. What an exciting time to be alive. But that's then, and by then I mean later, this is now. And now is a big, rather bulbous motorcycle. Granted, for the deluxe size, how could it be otherwise? But how, somewhere to put all the stuff. Yeah. This is a neat design. Well, part of it is actually a motorcycle. It's much different than she used to look like. Instead of one big mono eye, it's got two circles. All the better to see with, I guess. She's got turn signals. Thing does a steer. And doesn't roll well, because how could it? And I find it hilarious how. See, this, this is not pinned in. This one is, and yet the front rolls better than the back ever could. Ironic. So she's got these blue things, which anyone else will tell you, oh, just take them off. No, I'm going to demonstrate. You can transform this without any parts forming. Hopefully this time you can actually see what happens. It starts off familiar enough, you know, get out these wing things, fold this around. Here's where it gets interesting. See, they decided they're gonna revamp the design completely. So, the old one, all she really did was curl up a bit and then let her legs do all the work. Nope, everything's involved here. If I could keep focus. Her wheels, instead of going behind, are going to be out the side, a la Ransack. Speaking of, I hear there's a thing where if you play with things, you can make her look like that movie, RC. Experiment. There's our girl. How are you doing? Yeah. This is the thing that got me all excited for this toy line. Because finally, us other fans are being listened to. Albeit more artistic liberty than can be expected of others, but... No. She doesn't end up looking that bad. Put it this way, could be a lot worse. Like, poor kid only had his head in common. She's gotten off relatively lightly. What new stuff she does have makes her unique. For example, uh, these vents here weren't here before, but they are now. As I said, the uh, leg wheels. And then the prime first, he's got a nose. She can smell you at long last. Oh, joy. Now, for accessories, she comes with these little blade things. And bing, on all pegs and poles and whatnot. They can form to this shield that she never had. Which are gonna block absolutely nothing, because not only is it tiny, it's got holes. 
there was an attempt. Also, for some strange reason, that wasn't enough. The wheel splits open to be this thing. What's it gonna do? Shoot frisbees? Uh, blow wind? Like a uh, landmine? Gonna make it go up in the air like a penguin? Yeah. Possibility. Whereas the old uh, parade fear I had, primarily, she had balls everywhere. Uh, no, this one manages to be different too. Head's obviously good, but how can they ruin that? No, being that it's not ball joint anymore. Well, I mean, they're frozen cons or everything, but that one got loose over time, so I had to put paper in it. This one doesn't look like it'll have that issue. Wrist swivel? This is a massive improvement. See this? Ball joint. This is a bit of a rarity among Transformers for whatever reason. It's becoming more common as of late. But... Meaning. Just that little bit of movement gives her a lot of personality. So that much more of a go get him attitude. Oh, and check this out. A bit of a rarity, but because they had blue plastic, blue clear plastic left over, I guess. Oh, yes. Light piping. Wave 1 is still uh, being around in places, so if you see this, get it. No, it's not good as that first edition one, but no, if you're like me, and you probably are, you wouldn't have ever gotten that. This is a promising look at things to come for the toy line and, I guess, for me. I want to see if this works. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> ah, life is good.